Now, bi biology is a very important subject. It is so important that everything in this world you begin to think about life. Everything in this uh, economy you talk about bioeconomy. If you come to Makere University, for example, I can take Makere University as an example. Uh, the entire, almost the entire College of uh, College of Health Sciences, the entire College of uh, Veterinary Medicine, Animal Resources, and Biosecurity, uh, almost the entire College of uh, Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, a great part of College of Natural Sciences, and of course some part of College of Education. We really hinge much of our business, both in academics and research, on biology. If you talk about the entire ecosystem of science in the country and other areas and other places, you talk about the health sector, you talk about the agricultural sector, you talk about uh, natural resources management, you talk about NEMA, you talk about OWA, you talk about uh, so many of these things where you have life-based sciences. There is no way you are going to talk about anything like that without biology. Now, it even goes beyond than that. If you begin marrying different disciplines like security with biology, or mathematics with biology, or chemistry with biology, you generate a whole range of different disciplines that without biology, you would be able not to go very far away if you are going to talk about STI, science, and development. There is a narrative that started in the 1979s, late 70s, where at that time performance was not only bad in biology, but in physics, in chemistry, in mathematics. And uh, people were saying, even up to now, there is that thinking that sciences are very hard, that you cannot pass them. Now, at that time, at Makere University being the only university, the training of all science teachers was happening in the College of Education. At that time, it was called the School of Education. So, the Ministry of Education then instructed Makere to find a solution. So to Makere University Management then, in the late 70s, 80s, they felt like the teaching of science uh, teachers should be taking place in the Faculty of Science then. And that actually happened, and so physics, math, and chemistry were moved to the Faculty of Science up to today. Now, we later had some bit of improvement in those subjects, although they have been dwindling also, but by and large, there has been much greater improvement. I saw 3,800 3, uh, A's in mathematics and other good performance. But biology was never helped. Biology actually stayed in the school of education then up to today. Uh, it could have done better if we moved also biology in, into the natural sciences so that the teachers can go to, to, to school of education. Because the way the country operates is that the best performing students go to programs like medicine, pharmacy, law, uh, social work and social administration, engineering. That is how we operate. But I think, if I remember right, there used to be a time, I'm not sure when it was, that best performing students actually would be directed to education. To me, I think that would be a good idea if it happened, because then you want to keep a system where you have the best performing students reproducing other students in the post. But then, in order for you to do that, then you have policy issues and revisions because you need to remunerate the teacher as well, you need to make the, the profession attractive, and things like that. I believe it can be reversed. It is possible to reverse, and I want to give chance and hope to Ugandans, to the teachers, to the schools, to the entire community of Ugandans and scientists, together we can reverse this trend. We want to get out into the public and try to find out exactly what is wrong. So we want to first answer the question, what is not going right? Is it the teacher competences and their trainings what about the technicians who support biology teaching in high schools and all level schools? Is it the laboratory infrastructure? Is it the learners, their attitudes? Is it uh, the, the management of schools? 
Is it how your neighbor asks and frames questions? Because there's also a narrative thing saying that the way biology is asked is different from the way examined, rather the way mathematics is examined and chemistry and so forth. There is that narrative there. Is it the curriculum? Because people, everybody say biology is wide. Is it the only wide subject? I hear geography is wide. When we, attempt, when we are admitted on A-level, we are admitted to pass. We are not admitted to fail. And I want to encourage parents, actually to encourage their children to do biology. What I have been telling you is that it is one of the most important subjects at A-level and beyond. And I'm not saying others are not important. So although the failures is, are still high, but I don't go to subject to, to, to fail it. I did biology and I, have, I was always getting A and Bs throughout my life and all of a sudden your name shocks me with a D. But I have not regretted, although I was not happy with my D, but somehow, somewhere, I got placed where I am, I'm 